can't do what? France, it's, it's a mistake. <sighs> you are joking, right? Well, you better be. I've just packed up my whole life. Hey, this is our new beginning. Just drive. Rona, how are you? Shouldn't you be at home in bed? Oh, not you and all. I'm, I'm fine. Really? I heard you're at death's door. Yes, you was. You've been told to rest. Doctors always say that. <sighs> you had a heart attack. Yes, a small one. If it was that serious, they wouldn't have let me out. I suppose that is a good sign. Exactly. So I am celebrating, please, Bob, with a cup of peppermint tea. Right. Are you sure? Um, he's not my keeper. Really sorry. Coming up. Right, bunging a slice of fruitcake on the house. <laughs> We have got to your own, you know. Oh, Piers, please stop fussing. You've done nothing but nag since we left the hospital. You're not well. And I will do everything I can to speed your recovery. Now, if that makes me a nagging monster... Right, fine, then... OK? Right, I will go home and rest as long as you go back to work. I don't want to leave you. Well, your phone has been pinging all the way back from the hospital, so go on, shoo. Go and earn your salary. I'll see you later. Maybe we'll, um get the chance to talk things through, you know? Clear the air. After what happened. It's water under the bridge. Well, it's not, though, is it? Well, maybe we'll talk about it when you're better, OK? Ah, this is to go, then. Uh, you've poured it now, Bob. Oh. OK, you're scared. But you can't change your mind ten miles down the road. Debbie's expecting us. She doesn't need us. Of course she does! And so does Sarah and Jack. And eventually we're going to have Noah and Moses, Kyle too, a big new Dingle dynasty, our dynasty. When have you ever cared about family? I care about the people that matter. It's a short list, but you've always been at the top of it, you know that. Why would you want to bail on me now? <sighs> Moira. No. No way. You left her, right? You you chose to be with me. I thought it's what I wanted, but... She's in bits. Oh, come on, we've all had grief thrown at us. She's strong, she will get over it. She doesn't need you. Yeah, well, I need her, all right? I... I've been trying to kid myself that I don't, but... I love her. You love me? Not in the same way. You didn't have to follow me home. <laughs> I'm here to help. Look, we'll get the house sorted, and then I'll eat this up. Thank you. No problem. You give that mattress a jolly good wallop, and I'll dust and clean. Tell you what, play your cards right, I might even give the place a lick of paint. Lick of paint? Oh, be honest, Lisa. It's all a bit rough and ready. I'm sorry I'm not homes and gardens enough for you. I'm not having a go. Since when did you have time to decorate properly? I even forked out for some new cushion covers. In fact, where are they? What? Ah. I'm so sorry. I thought they were old rags. Six ninety nine each! Hey, they're machine washable, no harm done. Get out! I've said I'm sorry. You come in here with your snide comments and your leftover lasagna you expect me to be grateful, do you? Well, then make a change. What? Look, I ain't trying to be nice. All you do is look for excuses to take offence. We used to be mates. Until you nicked my bloke. Please, No, nope. I am sick of all this touchy-feely nonsense. I don't need Zack. I don't need you. And I don't need this flaming lasagna. I spent all morning making that. So what do you reckon's going to happen then? She's just going to welcome you back with open arms? You've humiliated her. She'll never trust you again. I know that. Well, then stop kidding yourself. It's over as far as she's concerned, whereas me, I'm stood right in front of you. OK, maybe I'm not at the top of your list right now, but come on, we belong together. You'll be all right. You'll, you'll find some rich French businessman with a dicky art. No, I'm not like that anymore. I swear on our daughter's life, on, on our grandkids. Hey, 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 hey. You come with me to France, and with her keeps, no matter what. Keep me chained up in the bedroom if you don't believe me. I 
can't live without you. Well, you've always been able to. Maura's got nobody. I need to be with her. Out of pity? Oh, yes, she'll really thank you for that, won't she? I can't help it. I want her. She, she's my woman. No. No, I am. I'm sorry. No, stop apologising! Don't! Don't! <laughs> OK, fine. Tell me this. If Moira is so wonderful, how come I managed to snatch you away from her? I've been asking myself the same question. I was weak. <laughs> but dumping the mother of your kid is big and strong, is it? I've made my mind up. Well, then unmake it. Kay, please. You've no chance of ever winning Moira back. She hates your guts. Let's just get in the car now, me and you. And go and join our family. You know, the people who you know will always love you. Say hi to Debs. <laughs> what? It's only a car. Kate, please don't do this to me. Just the person. Word is that you've uh, slung your dad out. It was mutually agreed to move in with Tracy. Yeah, right, but you've got a room going spare. Aren't you and Diane and Benitez? We've had a difference of opinion. To be honest, I was getting a bit fed up with Doug, lurking outside the bathroom trying to catch us in my bra and knickers. That doesn't sound like Doug. Well, you'd be surprised. Does that mean the party's off? Oh, I might have known you'd be gloating. Didn't say anything. We'll keep it that way. All girls together. What do you say? Well, half dad stuff's still in the wardrobe. Oh, I can live out for suitcase. I've done it loads of times. He'll be stopping over from time to time, I expect. I'm sorry. Some mate you are. Have we ever really been mates? Listen, you can keep on my sofa if you want. You still here? Kelly, you might be my ex, but... Maybe. I thought it was set in stone. Whatever our difference is, I don't want to see you homeless. Oh. Spares the bleeding heart, Dan. Not that desperate. Anyway, got a plan B sorted, haven't I, Sam? Hi. He said I can stay at his as a last resort. So thanks, but no thanks. Right, shall we go and get settled in then? You're well out of that. I know. I'm just about to clock off, sir. So. You can pour a pint. Oh, sorry. Best make it half. I'm off to fetch Aaron in a bit. Ah, oh, they're letting him out already. It's got to be a good sign, right? I haven't offered my congratulations yet, have I? For you and Aaron. Of course, for you, walking someone down the aisle is more of a fun day out rather than a lifetime commitment. Chrissy, I don't need this after what I've been through. My life hasn't exactly been a bed of roses either, thanks to you. But do you know what really gets me? Not especially, no. But you and Rebecca. All that effort you went to to keep your sordid affair a secret and now she's bragging about it. It's everyone she knows. The twisted, manipulative little tramp. In fact, you two are so alike, I'm surprised you didn't marry her instead of me. Well, the subject did come up. What? But in the end, well, she didn't have access to your dad's money, so I had to make do a second best. Don't insult my intelligence. She never loved you. She doesn't know how. Why do you think she stayed away so long? She couldn't bear to see a big sister married to the man of her dreams. You don't really think she's coming to bond with you, do you? Yeah. Cheers, mate. I'm not doing this to try and hurt you. Oh, don't give me that! You wouldn't care if I jumped off a cliff. Would you know what? Better off without you. That's what I'm saying. Well, go on then. Hurry home to the tragic farmer with your tail between your legs. Big man! You know what? You better be sure you know what you're doing. Because you've had your last chance. Kane! Please come back here now, or you will never see me or Debs or the kids ever again. And I am no bluffing. Kane!
So you want this to be over, do you? Fine. You're not worth the jail time. So how long was it going on for then? You can't come back here. Tell me. Were you sleeping with her after we got married? Is that what you're saying? When you went away on those, uh, those business trips where you holed up in a hotel with my kid sister? Believe what you like. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm rather regretting not going for the hat trick. What? Your dad only took me on because he had the hots for me. I missed the chance there. That could have got interesting. You're disgusting. On your squeaky clean. My brother's on the run, thanks to you. You never even liked Andy. His family, sort of. And you destroyed his life. Mine too. So now it's my turn to destroy yours. You know, I'd love to stop and talk some more, but my fiance needs fetching from hospital, so let yourself out. Oh, um, the thing about Rebecca is, I reckon she's still a little bit in love with me. Who can blame her? You're gonna have to do the call outs just till I'm back on my feet. This is silly, you're not ready. <sighs> I need to get back to work. Look, that's the last thing you need. You're in that much pain, you can't even stand up. Then I will work sitting down. <sighs> we discussed this at the hospital. Me and Paddy have got everything covered. You've just sacked the locum. Well, we'll get by. We've managed before. You're supposed to be at home in bed. Well, I'm just having a cup of tea with my friend. Uh, no. You're trying to run before you can walk. Uh, thanks. Don't mention it. <clears throat> Did you call him? Sorry. Well, this is nice. <sighs> my boyfriend and my best friend ganging up on me. I just don't get why you're being so stubborn. You've been out of hospital for a few hours and you, you're in pain. Which is why I need to keep busy, OK? My body's crying out for painkillers. Just take some. No, I can't. You have no idea what I am going through. I'm in agony, and I want it to stop. I can't take those pills, OK? I'm an addict. I'm sure. No. No. I came round from that operation, and I was dosed up. And I liked it. Piers, you're not supposed to like it. OK. It's OK. I did it. You just have to do what's right for you. But you're not ready to go back to work, you know that. Now, if you need distractions, then that's what I'm here for. Let's not keep arguing. I love you. And I want to help you get through this. Just tell me what to do. Lisa. Lisa. Where's your room? Oh. Here, here. Let me check you over. I'm fine. Lisa, you're not well. You need to rest up. I warned you this could happen. Why didn't you ever listen? I need to get the place nice for Belle. She doesn't need a tidy house. She needs you to take it easy and get your strength back. That's easier said than done. She'll be home in a few days and... 
Oh, look at me. Look at this mess. Oh, look. Oh, I said I'll help you tidy up. No offence, love. But you don't know one end of a vacuum from another. Hey, hey you just wait there. I'll make a brew. Everything could be fine. Trust me, all you have to do is sign. Would you put your name to something without reading the small print? Mm, fair point. What's all this? I've made you and Rebecca co-managers in my business. Behind my back? Well, we discussed this this morning. This all looks good to me. Excellent. Now you're both on an even footing. Hopefully, this means we can call a truce. Now, this seems like a good moment for me to raid the wine cellar. I've got an excellent Dom Perignon 82, which I've been saving for a very special occasion. <laughs> are you, um, are you in love with Robert? Why do you think that? I don't. He does. He isn't the worst bloke I've fallen into bed with. And you muscling in on our business. He's put you up to this, hasn't he? You can't trust him. He's using you. He wants to drive a wedge between us. For all our differences from now on, we... we need to look out for each other. That might be what you need. What are you doing back? It was wrong. Wrong about what? Everything. Holly, I... I should have got it. I, I should have helped her more. But you didn't. And I was wrong about us. I didn't fight for you, I just took the easy way out. I know you'll never forgive me for that, but... Well, I'm... I'm here, anyway. No. I'm sorry, I'm not having this. To a bright new future. Onwards and upwards, as the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Have I missed something? Oh, no, you're just in time. Here. He's 16. Oh, it's a special occasion. Why? Rebecca is joining the company. All she's done since she got here is messes about. Lying and pretending she cares when she doesn't. I've seen the bigger picture. And we're all friends now, aren't we? Absolutely. <sighs> Lucky. I'll go and talk to him. Do you agree to this, then? Hardly. She's not here to build bridges. Then what's she doing? I don't know yet. <laughs> but like I said, she won't get the better of me. Aha! How long does it take to buy red sauce? Oh. I saw Jermaine down at the shop. Yeah, fetching stuff for him and Lisa's tea. Thought he gave a lot of the sun you didn't want. That's not all she gave her. What? Lisa had another turn just after you'd left her, and Jermaine reckons if she doesn't start looking after herself, she could be proper poorly. How was that Joe and his fault? OK, so we had a few words. She was fine when I left. Poor woman's at her wit's end. Huh? Worrying about Belle, struggling with her health, and you decide to have a go? She was the one spoiling for a fight. We didn't need to give it to her. Hey, she tried to assault me! But well, don't you worry about trying to defend me. I'm only your wife. Do you know, Zach, I'm really rather hoping that one day you might care about me as much as you care about Lisa. Oh, don't say that. Of course I do. It's been stressful for us all lately. 
Look, it doesn't help you making things worse. That's all I'm saying. Get out. Look, you shouldn't be on your own. I shouldn't be a widow. I shouldn't have lost Holly. I shouldn't be a man down because James fell off a bridge. What can you do about any of that? Help out. No, thanks. Fair enough. If you do need me, I'll be in the caravan out there. What? And if I'm not out there, I'll be in the field, mending the fences or tending to the livestock. Are you deaf? I don't want you anymore. I get that. But this is where I belong. Teaching a deaf pup sign language, Paul O'Grady's back at Battersea next for the last in the series. It's for the love of dogs. And at nine, Lucy's secret past comes as a shock to Bobby as the teams in Germany and the UK make a breakthrough when conspiracy thriller Paranoid continues.